Hey DVC fan, Fiasco here at the Grand Floridian today. Uh, we've been doing these room tours every week and you guys have been asking for the Grand Villa at the Grand Floridian and I was able to set that up today. So that's what we're gonna go see. Before we get started, please consider supporting our sponsor for this DVC fan content, the world of DVC. Whether you wanna buy a resale contract, rent some points, try before you buy, all that info and more, can be found down in the description below but let's go check out what is considered by most to be the most grand room you can get here on Walt Disney World property let's go see why let's go see the Grand Floridian Grand Villa walking up on the DVC portion of the site right now uh, I feel like I've said the word grand enough already for this entire video so I'm gonna try to refrain from using that word again you know we know where we are we know what we're doing at this point and if I fail you can scold me in the comments below for using that word too many times but perfect timing too ah, it's already turning out to be a grand day oh oops okay so the moment I walk into this grand villa it instantly hits me with a extreme wow factor like okay so the video isn't out yet but we did just see the two bedroom as well and it is very nice this has a completely different character to it it's i took a little peek in already before we started filming it's in a class of its own oh my goodness this is incredible. Now stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna do some research and figure out the average cost per night for this room um, to see how many points it's actually gonna cost you to stay here. <sighs> but like, oh, oh my goodness, this is just insane. I, I, this is stunning. I feel like royalty being in here. Okay, so, so far for a living and dining area, this is the winner so far. Out of all the rooms that I've seen, that's the fridge? What? <laughs> okay, so yeah, so far out of all the rooms that I've seen, this is the best living and dining area by a respectable margin. Like, it's just insane. It's insane. Um, but let's see the rest of the room. So far, I'm really, really digging it. This is just huge. It's enormous. Okay, so bathroom one. This is one of the smaller ones, it looks like. Okay, but even one of the smaller bathrooms gets a killer tub. So that's sweet. I love, again, I love the subtle art. I'm gonna bring a different lens in here. Different people prefer different lenses, so I'm gonna do a little bit of both. All right, first room. Got two beds here. Oh, by the way, uh, there's this is a three-bedroom villa, but that doesn't include the media room, by the way, which we're going to go see in a minute, uh, which could sleep an additional three people if you'd want it to. It just doesn't have a closet, so it can't be a bedroom. But realistically, it's, it's a three-bedroom plus one, plus one bonus room. And that bonus room is a media room. I mean, seriously. Small closet there. Wonderful morning view. Oh, this room is insane. Okay, so 
I see what people are talking about. This is, this is the most grand room on property. It is. It is. It has a serious wow factor to it. That's just unmatched by anything in its class. Another bathroom here. So does every bathroom just have a killer tub? I mean, that's what I think that's what's going on here. The, the mirrors there do have a, a screen on them. Let's look at some of the utility features. Oh, small closet there. Okay, let's check out some utility features. So I don't see any exposed USB outlets here in this bedroom. And I don't see any exposed USB outlets here on the desk either. Just kind of your standard outlets, but I'm gonna keep an eye out for those as we mosey on through. Because I know that is an important feature, especially in large traveling groups, is can we get all our devices charged without battling over who's getting what? Taking another look at this amazing room. I mean, oh my goodness. Guys, what? Royalty, really? Okay. You could get lost in here, really. Okay, this is appearing to be, yeah, this is a super bathroom with a, another, well, with the first fantastic shower we've seen so far. The two bedroom actually had two of these showers, which I was impressed by. Again, you'll see that in a future video. Separated toilet. Okay, now, this is a big deal. This is the media room where you can basically act as your own little private movie theater. This, like, this is the only room where you're gonna get something like this. And like I mentioned before, this big, big sectional will pull out and sleep an additional three people. I mean, it has a media room. Just, what? I can't wait to break down these points per night and see what this actually is, because I feel like I know it's less than the bungalows. So, I'm, I, I feel like I'm going to be surprised. I feel like I will be. And here's the main bedroom. And yes, this as well possesses a serious wow factor to it. This is just incredible. Um, I haven't noticed any additional exposed USB outlets. So make a note of that. But just bring your own charges and stuff. Oh, wait, I see something over here by the nightstand. Boom, a USB outlet. Look at that, right by the charging stand. But this is, this is oh, there's another bathroom here. What? Okay, all right. So I previously mentioned the bungalow had the winner for best bathroom. No one's sleeping in that closet. Can the bungalow continue to hold its place in my heart as best bathroom or will it already be dethroned within a week? I mean, first off, this tub is... What? Oh my goodness, no, never mind. This is the new best bathroom. Wait, you haven't seen this one yet? No. Yeah, no, I haven't seen this bathroom before. This, one's nuts. this is the new best bathroom Ever. at Walt Disney World. 
oh my goodness, you have this massive shower. Um, wait, wait. Oh my, oh. It's not just a shower, it's a steam room. Oh really? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember one guy mentioning that. Okay, new best bathroom, Grand Floridian Grand Villa, no competition, right. Polynesian bungalow, you're cool. This one's the best. You have your own steam room. You have your own steam room. Okay, insane, crazy, I, I can't even. And then also the screen on the TV. Okay, all right, I see. I see you, your game, Grand Floridian. This is serious. I gotcha. All right, I'm gonna come back with you in a bit with some figures about this room. So looking at the point charts for 2021, this room has a low of 111 points per night and an average of about 149 with the high, the high season being 195. So large variant there, but all in all, more affordable points wise than the Polynesian bungalows. And I mean, I love the bungalows. Obviously, watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. The playlist is in the description below. The bungalows are gorgeous, but this is just offering so much more, I think. Anyways, let us know what you think down in the description or down in the comment section below. And also let us know what rooms you wanna see next and I will put that on my agenda. Till next time.